The Mandarin program creates a bridge that connects different cultures between people of Taiwan and the people of Belize. Thus, uh, it enables us, uh, our two countries, our two peoples, to advance even closer and a more prosperous relationship together. Uh, I trust that each one of you will enjoy learning and studying Mandarin, and I wish all of you uh, ever, uh, wish, wish all of you succeed in your future endeavors. Starting to do courses overseas in Taiwan, and hence the reason we saw the need for the courses, like how I mentioned earlier too, it's not only for the courses, but, but here as well, we, um, we want to make sure that our soldiers uh, have a reasonable amount of um, knowledge to communicate with the, the business community. We know that the the business community out there, they are, um, they are, they are Chinese. The, the Chinese community mostly, they are the, the shopkeepers, the restaurateurs, etc. So, what would you say to somebody who might say, well, BDF, you know, then in the jungle, why do they need to learn Mandarin for? Like I was telling you earlier, we do courses, we do advanced courses. Right now, we have about four or five cadets in Taiwan studying to, to become officers. We have the, um, I think that we have one that is doing a senior staff course in, in Taiwan. And we need the language, we, we need training because training, we, we do training in a variety of countries, but Taiwan has offered us to, to, to train the military as well. So it's not only to be in the jungle where we will, we're not going to talk Mandarin, but we need to ensure that we, 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 we know the language first and then tackle the course. Taiwan has a, a variety of um, ways how, how they do, um, how they fight wars, for the lack of a better word, how, how, how they um, confront hostilities that we would, if we, we have the country that is offering that, why not take advantage of it?